the pandemic that assaulted the whole world and uh, all citizens and uh, uh, across countries and in Europe as well, uh, drew our attention to some factors that we already knew. There was uh, an accelerator put on inequity, on inequalities. Uh, they were already there, but became more visible because this virus attacked everyone, but attacked in most, uh, uh, mostly the, the most vulnerable ones. This means that schools, social services, uh, therapeutic services have to uh, grow, have to focus their attention on the younger ones uh, and on those that are more vulnerable. This is a message that uh, rehabilitates and uh, is very much based on the social grounds of, this, of the European model. Uh, we know how to do it, we know how to be together, and there is a message that we can uh, uh, give to our schools and convey to our schools. Uh, one is, we will grow faster if we grow together. Students will have to learn that sometimes we have to go a bit slower so that more people uh, and more students achieve the same goals. This is a, a wake-up call. The pandemic is a wake-up call for uh, all these vulnerabilities that we already knew. Uh, some have some kind of disability based on a, on a cognitive or physical uh, impairment, some because they are migrants or do not speak the official language of the country. Uh, those uh, that live in a very, uh, very poor neighborhoods and the socioeconomic contexts that are more difficult, they will need the conjoined efforts of all of us. So this is what Europe can provide. This is what recovery and resilience is about.